Joined now by Mike Bordick, and we talked about Manny Machado being hot and sizzling, really. What stands out about him this year at the start of the season? Well, I'll tell you, his maturity is, uh, he's really grown leaps and bounds. You know, I think uh, last year, even the year before, dealing with a couple injuries and stuff, Manny Machado has started to settle in, and he has the highest level of focus we've seen him have since coming into the big leagues. Last night, catching a fastball down and in. Now, this is after a brushback fastball on the first pitch. So Machado is uh, unflappable up there. Yeah, you try to move his feet, get him off the plate, sneak another fastball in there, still quick enough hands. I love this approach here. Staying tall, keeping his posture, and I think that's one of the most important things. He has very limited head movement, gets the front foot down, and he keeps his hands back, and it allows him to use those hands with a great bat position. His, his uh, bat head's above his hands, and he's able to use the whole field. A lot of times, uh, breaking balls can get a hitter out in front. The body will drift, and you don't have enough to make up for it. Manny stays tall with that good posture and still drives the ball the other way. You know, Mike, I think if you watch him around the batting cage, you can just tell that confidence level is so much higher. Even after his best year last year at 35 home runs, you can tell he's just got that swagger about him around the batting cage now where he knows he can hit. And you watch the way he goes about his business. In batting practice, he's taking the ball the other way. He's taking it to right center, up the middle, left center. He's popping one every now and then, but he's not just going up up there wasting his time by trying to hit home runs and playing games with other guys he's very serious and I said you know you got a chance to be the best in baseball this year he didn't think so but I said if you stay the way you are you're going to make a good run at it yeah, well it's a good thing he's showing some humility there saying that he's not <laughs> going to be the best because he is going to be the best this guy has got an unbelievable swing right now he reminds me of uh, Miguel Cabrera you know, it's going to go down as probably one of the best right-handed hitters in the history of the game. Manny is that good right now. Incredible bat path, very direct to the baseball, and he has such long limbs that even if he's fooled, he still has the ability to reach out there and put the ball hard in play. Now, it seems like he just loves playing the game of baseball. I mean, Buck said that a couple of times at his press conferences. That baseball and Manny are like a marriage. Yeah, well, <laughs> absolutely. And he's got these uh, built-in instincts. Um, he understands the game, and I think the fact that now he's getting stronger, he's starting to grow into his body, um, really the sky is the limit. And when you heighten his focus the way it is right now, both on both sides of the ball, at the plate and in the field, you're looking at the best player in the game. He's doing things that a lot of guys can't do. Of course, uh, it's early in the season. Could he do it through 162 games? I think so, because every other year things have translated for Manny Machado. Speaking of uh, defense, the Orioles' defense has excelled all season long, but we got to give credit to Darren O'Day out in the bullpen. He might have an outfield job not too soon from now. All the home runs he's catching out there in the bullpen. <laughs> but let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about defense beyond Manny. It just seems like the Orioles' defense, especially on that road trip, I mean, it was almost like a jigsaw puzzle. It was perfectly played out. <laughs> but the game has slowed down for this team defensively. You know, and I think even Manny Machado offensively, the, the game gets slow. These guys are as focused as we've seen. This is a veteran team right now. Even though it's a young team in baseball, they've been together for a number of years. Saw Weeders there. Nice play as the ball's going away from him. Manny Machado on this line drive. It's not easy to time a baseball, a line drive off the bat, especially at the corners. Manny does a super job of getting his feet ready. J.J. Hardy on this play lets it go, and it's up. But Davis doesn't commit too soon. He recognizes the ball. Chris Davis has been a difference maker defensively for this team. They could just as easily have maybe 10 errors from their infielders. He's picked up Hardy and Machado, even Jonathan Scope at second base. And he's making this infield feel comfortable right now. They are just playing very relaxed, trusting Chris Davis at first base, and you're just seeing a highlight film after highlight film every night. Mike, uh, this defense, you watch them play, and they do things that nobody ever expects them to do. The incredible way that they play together, Manny always watching uh, Jonathan Scope and Scope watching J.J. Hardy and J.J. Hardy uh, uh, Davis, they always seem to be backing each other up. J.J. Hardy's incredible out there. Uh, the coaching staff, you got to give them a little credit for keeping these guys together, but they also at the same time find ways to be creative. Look at Jonathan Scope cutting that ball off. He knows he doesn't have a play at first. He looks at third. He gets the runner in Texas the other night. You know, look at Manny, you know, the way that, that he plays too. And then J.J. Hardy. When Manny goes in, J.J. Hardy is always in a place where they can make a play. Nobody expects their players, even at the major league level, to do the things that this infield does. They are so good at playing together with the 
each other. It's the first time I've ever seen anything that good, and I came from some great defensive teams. Yeah, well, you sure did. You know what? You do have to give Bobby Dickerson a lot of credit. You know, he's come on board, and these guys have bought in to his philosophy, which is taking care of the baseball. He stresses it every day when they're out there getting their ground balls. Manny Machado's preparation, Chris Davis's preparation, a lot of it stems from how J.J. Hardy goes about his business on a daily basis. These guys learn from each other. They watch each other. It's fun to watch Scope and Machado. They challenge each other, it seems, on a daily basis. Who can come up with the best play? Who can hit the ball the farthest? Who throws the ball the hardest across the diamond? It's a lot of fun. They're pushing each other, and I think everybody's level has been raised on the infield. Listen, this is the same group that broke the record. Historic defense just a couple years ago. They're going to do that again because they're a mature group, and they're all on the same page defensively. One Folks. last quick little thing. Do you think we'll ever see an entire infield in one team win a gold glove? Well, I think if there's a chance, it'll be this year. It's really amazing watching these guys on a nightly basis. You know, Hardy and Manny Machado has got to be the best left side of the infield we've ever seen. Jonathan Scope's getting better and better. He's talking about a breakout year. Defensively, he's, he's ranging. He's getting better pursuit angles. Trust his arm deep in the hole. And Chris Davis is the key. He really is. I mean, this guy's playing a phenomenal first base, helping everybody out. Right now, everybody in this Orioles infield should win a go glove. You're hearing it from a guy that played shortstop at the peak of playing shortstop Mike Bordick along with Rick Dempsey.